Videos of waterless scent diffusers are some of the most popular on my channel. It's surprising to me, but it makes sense. This is one of the easiest ways to make sure that your whole home smells amazing whenever you have guests over, or of course, just for your own personal enjoyment. J Cloud is one of the most popular brands of waterless diffusers on Amazon. I have checked out quite a few of their models, and now they've sent me one of their upgraded 2024 models for review today. They've also sent one of their signature scents. This is the Royal Serenity. It's an imitation of a hotel scent. Both of these were sent to me, but I am not being paid for this video. They have no creative direction over what I say today. And I get to tell you exactly what I think of this model and whether or not it's worth picking up in 2024. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Jordan. This is the Phase Reviews YouTube channel where we talk about all sorts of tech products, be it smart home, lighting, audio, camera, podcast, you name it, we talk about it here. So if you haven't yet, subscribe, ring that notification bell. You don't wanna miss any content coming in the future. Enough about that though, let's dive into this J Cloud 2024 model, waterless scent diffuser. First things first on this channel, let's do a bit of an unboxing. This is actually the first time we're gonna take this out of the packaging together and you're gonna to get to see uh, at the same time as me what comes with this model. Now let me lay this down. It looks like we're gonna open it up this way. This is one of the models that you can attach to your HVAC system. My very first model that I reviewed from them, which I still use to this day, my favorite model, allows you to hook the scent diffuser into your AC so that you can spread the scent throughout your home without having to have uh, machines throughout every room, which is very, very nice. That's gonna be accomplished with this tube right here. Also in the box, per the usual, we're gonna get uh, uh, a guide to the product. We're going to get a user manual right here. Uh, this is a smart home connected. Yes, this one can be connected to a app on your phone so that you can control the timing, the schedules, all of that without having to go under the unit and program it yourself. Okay. We've got a power cord here, pretty standard uh, AC to DC wall wart plug. We have got, uh, let's see, some MISC knobs. Uh, alternate nozzles, a key for the door. These have kind of come with past products just to allow you uh, to lock kids out so they don't get into it and mess with it. We've also got a wall, oh, let me not drop that. We've also got a wall mounting bracket. If you wanna hook this up next to your HVAC system or just mount it higher in your home, you can use the wall mount bracket and they include some screws and uh, drywall anchors as well. But of course you're here for the machine itself. Now, first impressions, if I can get this out of the box. I'm gonna set that back behind me. Uh, you know, they've always got pretty modern looking models. They don't look too out of place. I'm partial to the white versions myself. Uh, but the black doesn't look too bad. We've got a matte finish here, kind of a texture ribbed um, design going around the edges. On the top, we've got our output nozzle right there. On the back, we've got our area for our bracket. What else do we got here? A keyhole on the side to get into the unit. Uh, your power plug is right in the dead center in the back right there. Some rubber feet on the bottom if you just want to set this on a desk or on the floor. Let's crack it open and see how big our uh, oil diffuser bottle is. Now, if you've never used one of these waterless diffusers, what's really nice is that it uses a very small amount of oil. It's very concentrated. You don't have to be constantly refilling it every day with more distilled water and dropping in some drops. It makes the process a whole lot easier. Okay, this looks fantastic. Much better than older models. You can see so we've got our display right here, four buttons. That's pretty standard setup. Our power toggle and then our scent bottle. How do we remove this guy? Well, just pull it straight out. Love to see that. Is this just a twist off? Let's see here. We're discovering this for the first time together. Maybe we have to twist this. Oh, there we go. Just got to be a little more forceful with it. Okay, so one of the things I like about these J-Cloud models is that it's very, very straightforward how to use this. Okay, you can see I just figured that out on the go. Fill this up with your scent. Goodness, that's a giant ball. Gotta be, I don't know, 400 cc's at least. I would say, uh, if you filled that all the way up with fluid, which would be expensive, I'm not gonna lie, that would probably last you, okay, there's got a stopper there to know you, when you've twisted the correct amount. Anyway, that should last you probably for a year, okay? Then you slot back in, it's got a hole to align it to the correct orientation, you would close your door back up, and away you go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, oh, hold on. Gotta line this up. Aha, there we go. 
then we twist that back down with our key. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in some of this aroma oil. I've already taken a sniff of this. Again, what did I say this is called? Royal Serenity. One of their hotel fragrance dupes. Uh, I'm, their fragrances are hit or miss. Uh, some of them I really like. This one I've already taken a whiff of, and I'm a very big fan of it, okay? So I'm going to pour this in, get it hooked up, shoot some B-roll so you can see this, the uh, oils coming out of the top, and then I'll tell you my impressions of how strong the scent is and how well it functions. All right, so I've got the oils added to the reservoir. This bottle, which a size this big, this is uh, 3.38 mils, 100 or 3.38 ounces, 100 mls. This usually lasts me about a month, month and a half. It barely filled up, I don't know, a centimeter of the bottom of that reservoir. So there is a ton of space for oils in here. Now you can see on the top, okay, I've added this black nozzle. This is really neat because you can rotate this and change the direction of the output. Uh, or if you have it off, it can just go straight up vertical into the air, which is really nice. The other nozzle that's included in the bag here, let me get that out. That's the metal one, okay right here. That's going to be to attach the hose if you decide to go the HVAC route. Okay, now um, the display powers up. If you want to program this from there, you obviously can. However, I recommend the application. If you go in my channel and look for my other JCloud diffuser reviews, you can see me use the app. It's the same app for this diffuser. Now, being a bigger model meant for larger spaces, maybe being next to an HVAC that's not in like a, a living area of your home, this one is kind of loud and these bigger models usually are. It, lasts only five, 10 seconds at a time. It's not too disruptive, but be aware that this is not whisper quiet. The uh, fan should kick on here in a second and you'll hear it uh, function and spit out some fluid and you'll be able to hear a little bit, hopefully in this microphone, how loud it is. All right, and there it goes. I don't know if you can hear that motor. I'll lean in and maybe you can see the uh, the uh, oils coming out of the front here. It puts out a massive amount. You really only need to run this for a few seconds at a time. The cloud that it put out was quite large. I would say the output is bigger than pretty much every other model from JCloud that I've taken a look at. So flip side, you're going to go through your oil quicker, but uh, it's going to scent the area very fast. Okay. So all in all, comparing this to other diffusers, I like the updated design. I like the updated nozzle. That seems to to be a new feature here. Uh, the display on the inside is much easier to read. The buttons have a nice tactile feel. Overall, um, despite maybe a little bit higher noise level, I think this is a great option for larger areas. Of course, if you want to go the HVAC route, it's one of the few options that you can use for that as well. And I'm going to give it two thumbs up. I think this is a worthwhile addition to their product line. If you want to read more about it, check out the specs. I'll include a link down below in the description. You can go read up on it, buy through there if you want, support the channel. I would of course love you for it. Uh, if not, just subscribe, read the notification bell, leave a comment, like the video. Let me know if there's another model from J Club that you prefer or from any other manufacturer. I'd love to know about things that I can keep testing on this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. That's going to be it for today. I will see you next time.